uh, we've got some breaking news here. A quote, all out civil war is going on inside Senator Marco Rubio's campaign right now. Sources telling that to the Fox Business Network just moments ago. Charlie Gasparino has the story. What's it's going on? Whether to stay in or get out after last night, you and I covered it last night. As you know, it wasn't a good night for Marco Rubio. Did not win one state and not one delegate. And these weren't, uh, you know, winner take all contests. He did very poorly yesterday. Even worse than that, today, internal polls came out way behind in Ohio, way behind in his home state in Florida. So what you got now is donors going directly to Mr. to, to Senator Rubio and saying, get out now, um, or definitely get out after Florida, but be nice if you got out now. Do not hand this do not hand the GOP nomination to Mr. Trump. If you do that, you will in all likelihood have elected Hillary Clinton and it'll be something along the lines of like he would essentially be destroying the Republican Party is what major donors are saying to Mr. Rubio. Now, what is Mr. Rubio's intentions? I will tell you this. Uh, they think these are the donors. They think if the poll numbers don't change, like he may find some good poll somewhere, but they think there is a shot that he will drop out of the race if the poll numbers don't change. Before poll, Florida? Before Florida. They think, even though he said he's staying in into the convention, after Florida, if he loses, he's definitely out. The convention's uh, in July, by the way. Right. So what we have Always right now right. is two sets. We have the paid staffers. And, you know, I would say if, if Dollars of Donuts right now, Rubio is siding with the paid staffers. He's going to be at the he's going to be at a CNN debate tomorrow. You know, he's still he's still running around campaigning. Uh, we should point out that the, a lot of the, the GOP PAC money that was going to fly into Florida and go very heavily negative through ads against Donald Trump is just hitting now. So things might change in the next 24, 48 hours. But clearly, there is some doubt on the part of the donors based on the internal polls and based on his performance last night. That Michael it's not Goodwin just came from saying, I don't see what Rubio gains by dropping out. And I was thinking, well, that's an interesting way of looking at it. Why, but why he, he say Well, that? he says because the donors themselves would say this was all for nothing. Not, but who are you pleasing, the donors or the entire well, party? We should point out that the donors have jobs to do other than raise money for a losing cause. And I think what the donors are saying to them, at least the ones that care, Marco, with all due respect, you are handing the election to Donald Trump, and by virtue of that, you are handing the election to Hillary Clinton. Donald's negatives are very high, and if you give Kasich and Cruz a chance, they may, and particularly Cruz, for your supporters, may be the lesser of two evils. Uh, you know, Trump or Cruz, uh, because, you know, uh, Ted Cruz is very, very conservative as well, non-establishment. Um, you know, at least you're preventing Donald Trump, who, you know, we saw him last night. I mean, listen, I personally like Donald a lot, um, but if you're, I mean, he was pretty erratic last night. I mean, he was talking about bringing the party together, but then attacking people. I mean, I, I could have done without seeing his steaks and wine and, and beer, whatever he had up there, his signature, his signature yeah. businesses. It's very bizarre. And they think that type of candidate. Here's the steak falling yeah, there we go. They, they think that type of candidate is not going to beat Hillary Clinton if she doesn't get indicted. And, you know, the, the odds are she probably won't get indicted. And, and by the way, I didn't even throw Trump you in there, which is. Here comes you, the slow-mo of the steak falling yeah. off. This is a Trump steak, and it was raw. Somebody rushes in, picks it up, and puts it back fed, on the platter. They fed that to the guy. What was the guy's name that he kept picking on? Jeremy. Jeremy. Listen, uh, <laughs> he fed that to Jeremy. But, but uh, Jeremy is a journalist who, who was in the pen. I still don't know, but, but what matters is that, that there's a thin-skinned aspect right. here that when a reporter asks a question... Right, from him. He goes right after. Yeah, so, and, I mean, I mean that's, and that's, what the donors are telling, that's what the donors are telling Mr. Rubio. Why elect this guy? Um, I will say this. This is the bottom line with Rubio right now. This is a day to day story. Yeah. This is developing. We have to follow this. He's not out yet. We don't know. Donor says that he's listening when they tell him to go. He's listening to the logic. He might leave at the day after if he loses. He may, he may get some positive poll numbers and stay in. I don't know. But I'm telling you, this is on the table right now. I'm staying on it. Fox Business will stay on it. And we'll see what happens. Charlie Gasparino breaks it right here.